We set sail from Bristol at dawn, filled with hopes and dreams of a treasure that would solve all of our problems. Mm -hmm. Was there any prior indication that so many things would go wrong? Of course, but it was the first time I set foot on a ship, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. To this day, I still can't believe we took all those risks. Long John Silver had charmed us all, and convinced us to sail with pirates passing for good sailors. And of course, there was the Shadow plotting against us and sending a spy to join our crew. Meanwhile, when we left Bristol, I was heartbroken that I had to leave my new friends behind. One thing was for certain. For the first time, I was across the immense ocean. And I had never felt more alive. Ha <laughs> ah. ha! Tim! Huh? What are you doing, boy? This is no cruise. Get back to work! Huh? Uh, uh. There's lots of mouths to feed with very little patience. They'll beat you down if they catch you slacking. And when they eat, I want to see you serving full plates to everyone. Remember, a full crew is a happy crew. Got it? I'll remember, Long John. I know you will, Jim. Now be a good lad and bring me a sack of potatoes from the galley. Ah? Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. The galley, Jim! The pantry of the ship? Back that way! Now go before I get really mad! Yes, sir! Huh? Shh. Jojo! Tracy! Lynn! I went to look for you, but you were gone. Well, it was now or never, Jim. And we had to go somewhere, so we came here. Mm. But you'll be discovered. Looks like we couldn't trust him after all. I bet you he's gonna tattletale on us to the captain. What do you take me for, Tracy? I'm not a tattletale! I trust you. And you, Jojo? Where are those uh, potatoes? Uh, huh? huh? I better not catch you lollygagging. Now stay quiet. I'll make sure they don't find you. Just stay right here, okay? And where else would we go? So, Captain, how many days do you think it will take us to reach the island? Huh? Shh. My lord, may I remind you that we have to maintain a level of secrecy about the expedition? Captain Smollett is right. Officially, we are taking this trip for business. I do not believe this many precautions are necessary. The crew that I chose seemed trustworthy enough to me. They are good sailors, I'll give you that. But what do we really know about any of them? Between the three of us, how long will it actually take to get to the island? It should only take three days until we can hook into the trade winds. They're always blowing this far out to sea. After that, it should be less than a fortnight. We have news of an impending raid in the Cayman Islands, sir. I have three frigates, armed and ready to fight on your order. Mm hmm? I will see to those pirates personally. Sir, I assure you my marines are more than capable of- That was a clear order. 
I'll handle the pirate. Go take your frigate and defend Jamaica. I will do as you have ordered, sir, but I do not understand. Huh? Ah. Mm. I hope this isn't insolent, but is this another one of your secret weapons? Uh. Commander, you may go now. A message from your assassin. Uh? Huh? Mm. Mm. You should know I don't like wasting time on the enemies of others. There is one thing you still need to learn. Ah. And that is obedience. I will do as you ask, but I insist I have the vengeance that is rightfully mine. I will finish off those dogs that betrayed me. Betrayed? It was you who betrayed them, Governor. Well, soon I will have all the others. As of now, they're on a ship headed straight for the Caribbean. Long John Silver is with them. He's the one who betrayed me and left me for dead. I'll provide the vengeance you seek. I will unleash one of my hurricanes upon them. No, Huracan. Let them make it through. I want the pleasure of ending him myself. Very well. But if your need for vengeance keeps you from fulfilling my will, you shall know my full wrath. Ah. Uh... Don't make any noise. I brought you something warm to eat. Huh? <sighs> oh, finally. They only have biscuits down here. No whining, Lynn. We are daughters of Captain Stanton, which means we can eat like sailors. Ah, even that's better than what I used to eat as a slave all the time. Huh? Huh? I wonder if it's another sailor messing with the foremast. What are you talking about? The foremast is the first mast in front, then the main mast comes behind that. Hmm? Well, one of the sailors had an earlier incident with a rope. He took his knife out to cut it, lost his balance, and fell from up there. Wow, huh? is he all right? Yes, thankfully the rope caught his leg. But Captain Smollett was furious because the knife ended up landing a mere four inches from his boot. So how many lashes of the cat did he give the man? Ten lashes. Wait, he struck a cat? That's horrible! What did the cat do? The cat and nine tails is a kind of whip that they use, with tips just as sharp as claws. Dad told me a thousand things about the sea, but never told me anything about this cat. Because Dad could never bring himself to use it. He was a good man. Hey, you know, you never told me how you managed to sneak on board. We found some space in the grain supplies and covered ourselves up in there. That crazy cook never thought to check it out. <laughs> that crazy cook huh? would certainly never get suckered in by a group of rascals like you. Ah, uh, grab a stove, up! We didn't take much, sir. Only very little food, and that was it. We promise. The food's beside the point. This is a serious violation of rules. It's all my fault, Long John. I actually made them come on board. It was all my idea. You're a good friend, Jim. Telling lies to save them from harm. I can see that. If I had it my way, I would welcome them aboard with open arms. But it's a matter of law. Do you think the captain might even want to use the cat on us? The captain could order far worse punishments than that. Things that I'm sure are too horrible for young ears. Thanks, but I already know punishments used in the Navy, and I don't want her to know about them. You know about them? But why? Why did Dad tell you and not me? Because he felt you were still too little to hear some of this stuff. The girls know a lot about sea life. Their father was a captain. That is, before he passed away. Father was a captain, was he? Did you ever hear of my dad, Captain Stanton, the best in the entire Royal Navy? Simon Stanton, yes! He would come into my inn and we would speak often. What an honor, miss. <laughs> Unfortunately, this will not save huh? you from punishment. Long John, will you say anything to the captain? Long John is no snitch. If you think that, you're a bigger fool than I thought. Uh, okay, okay. No, Long John protects his friends. But in case the captain throws you to the sharks, then it probably wouldn't hurt to fatten you up a little. <sighs> that was quick. I chose the best boat in England. This gold should be an adequate reimbursement. I gave you fair warning. Bones and silver must be dead or our deal is off. The circumstances have changed and I need to rethink my strategy. You know how that can be. 
You're a clever demon, Shadow. Actually, I had not thought about the map, and it only makes sense that Silva would return for the treasure. Who's in charge? A squire who somehow got the map from Billy Bones. It doesn't matter anymore. We shall take advantage of these fools, and I will finish things once and for all! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Yo-ho-ho -ho, and a bottle of rum! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Yo-ho-ho -ho, and a bottle of rum! I hate being locked away like this. It's like I'm in that filthy slave ship all over again! Huh? Oh. Oh. oh, my stomach, Tracy. I'm sick. Dr. Livesey gave me some pills for that. Don't worry, I'll go get some. Don't, huh? Jim. Remember that you are a Stanton, and like our father, the sea is in your blood. Don't worry, it'll pass, and you'll feel better. My girl, even the toughest sailor on all the high seas, still gets sick to his stomach every now and again. <sighs> this is true. Even Dad would still get sick sometimes, but on tides much rougher than this. Of course! It takes at least a hurricane to break the strength of a Stanton. Toughen up, girls! I need help from sailors who can still stand. As you wish, Commander. I need you to clean the fish. The captain wants it for dinner. Clean it well, cut it carefully, and give me the head, spine, and internal organs. I want to cook those with a nice broth. Very juicy and flavorful. You know, fish guts really give a unique taste to a good soup. The head does too, if done well. It's a strong smell. Something similar to cod liver or fish oil. But it's an even stronger taste that sailors love. I could go on all day, but I think you've learned the lesson I was trying to teach. Neptune is a cruel beast. Try to pretend you're stronger than him, and he'll find a way to make you pay dearly. Very dearly! Now go lie down. You're whiter than a mainsail. Oh. Jim found some candy. Do you want some of it? Well, well, what do we have here? Um, very good. I wonder what other treats are hidden here. <laughs> <laughs> Ten days left, gentlemen. This wind is still pushing us along, provided we don't run into a storm, that is. But I'm worried about something. A trusted sailor told me that the crew is already fully aware of where we're going. Ah, yes, well, I might have already spoken to Silver. I know I was careless. Never mind now. We'll handle it. When we get to the island, we'll have to be forthcoming with the men. Tell them about how we'll divide the treasure. Here's what I suggest. Write down how much loot each sailor gets. And for the sake of our own safety, let's hope it keeps them happy. Huh? Sorry to interrupt, Captain. The wind strengthened. Gentlemen, duty calls. Hmm. I always like to see the route we take. I can learn so much from Captain Smullett. Compliments later, Arrow. See to the ship. Let's keep the mainsail and small sail up, but for now I want you to take all the others down. Uh -huh. It was gonna bite me! Lynn, get back here right now! What in blazes is going on? Hmm? Everything is fine, Captain. Miss Lynn forgot the chips can be full of rodents. What are these two girls doing on my ship? Captain, I can explain everything, mm. huh? The captain is not talking to you. Huh? I recruited the girls to help me out in the kitchen. Uh. I was not told of this. I do not allow women on my ship. <laughs> uh, you didn't know? But then that must mean that Jojo... Answer me truthfully. Were you not approved by Captain Smollett? Uh. Mm. That boy there. That's Master Baldwin's slave. Did he escape? I thought you and your wisdom had approved him. Silver, I'll make you regret this insolence once and for all. One moment, Captain. May we just hear what happened? Mm. Lynn and Tracy are two friends of mine who are in trouble. Their mother... Our stepmother is a witch and a truly evil woman. Their stepmother was beating them and wanted to send them away, and so... And I wouldn't have survived one more day working for Master Baldwin. Silence, slave. I will deliver you back to Master Baldwin personally. Ah, 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 ah. 
All right, they were wrong, and I was wrong to help them, but punish me, Captain. Jim, no one here is getting punished. At least, not without good cause, right? Don't worry, there will be no beatings. But until we return to England, you will be expected to perform duties on board. Huh. How would you kids like a real sailor's job? Ah, uh, rigging! Ah! Uh. Be careful on that cage! I don't cage. see any cages! It's just another strange name for the mast! Now hurry up! Up there! We need to finish this in case the storm blows in! Do I need to show you how to tie the knot again? Why don't you start by telling me how to untie the one in my stomach? Uh, uh, watch uh, sails! Uh, 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 careful with the cage! Why do sailors use these strange names for everything? Uh. Long John, is it okay if I climb up all the others? Of course, when you grow in a few years. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Next time, the right leg. down you know I gotta tell you you're making a lot of progress as a sailor I'm very pleased though I know you've never been afraid of hard work it's more work than I did at the end but out here there's so much space that I feel more freedom it's so much better not to mention that if all goes well you'll be making more money than you would as an innkeeper well it'll be plenty to save and I'll be able to pay for school what about you and the squire? I just want the codex, and I hope that when we get there, we can actually find it. What makes the codex different from any other book you can read? The books back home are filled with thousands of years of English history. And the codex is another history. Is that why it's so important? That's correct. I'm proud of you, Jim. You will go down a road of true wisdom and grow up to become a man unlike many others in this world. Hopefully a man like you. Thanks for the compliment, but better than me. <sighs> I want news of silver. Soon you will have it. Have faith in my crows. I breed them myself and train them in the Azores. They are the best scouts and messengers. They travel best in the sunlight. Soon we will have the information we need. Can your crows handle an entire ocean? Huh? I will contact you as soon as I know something. Mm. Good day, Mr. Arrow. Not quite, sir. Those dark clouds on the horizon do not look promising. Good eye, Mr. Arrow. You're right. A storm is approaching. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. You give him cabbage, and Long John makes magic. Sweet lord, that ocean air smells good. Hello! Are you taking in some air, too? I bet you've got lots of work to do today. <laughs> What's wrong with you, my furry little friend? Some kind of strange disease? Is it going around? So that's the reason the first mate is playing around with a whistle only animals can hear. But what animal is he trying to call?
It looks like he must have spotted something. What kind of bird is that? Uh. Now I understand. That bird was a messenger, and the first mate's a filthy spy! Excuse me of being the criminal you are? So you do know who I am. Let's find out who you really are. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> I'll ask you again. <laughs> who are you working for? Are you hard <laughs> hearing, first mate? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me ask <laughs> you again. <laughs> <laughs> Time to decide. Either answer to me or the sea. Who sent you? Why should I tell you? You plan to finish me off anyway. Not if you help me. There's treasure for everyone. Uh. All right, Long John. I'm with you. Fine, but you still haven't answered my question. Who sent you? Foolish dog! <laughs> You made your choice! The fool took his secret to a watery grave. No sign of Mr. Arrow. We've checked everywhere. He's nowhere on the ship. Could have gone over during the storm. Oh, Lord, turn your ear to my cry. I am filled with evil. My life is just dust in the wind. That was a blow. But life goes on. Grab a bucket and wipe down the bridge. Then meet me in the kitchen. Tracy, we just keep working and working. I'm so hungry. Couldn't Jim go and at least get me an apple from the barrels at the front mast? No, little one. We can eat later. Now we have to work. I can go. Ugh, you guys start wiping up the bridge to cover me. I'll sneak in. No, Jim has to do it, because I don't trust that you'll come back. Fine. Might as well do it, Jim, or we're going to hear this all evening. As the lady commands. Well, these apples don't seem like much. Might take me a while to choose a good one. Let's talk here. Mm. No one else is around. Mm? Tell me, mm? Long John, what mm? happened to Mr. Owl? Mm? Was that you? Let's just say Neptune helped out and gave me a hand. Let's get to the point. When do we make our move? Not yet. We're not ready. If we mutiny, we have to do it right. We're pirates, huh? Silver. Of course a mutiny is going to Ooh. be a risk. But it's worth it, right? This time it is. I've seen the treasure with my own eyes. Silver, there's something that's been bugging me. It looks like you're going soft on those four kids in your kitchen. What are you saying? When the time comes, will you be able to take care of them too? Did you forget who you're talking to? Have you ever known me to hesitate? Huh? Land off the starboard huh? bow! The island. Uh, 